Welcome back to part 2 of the uncasing. This is box 7 of the case. And in our last part, we didn't get any leaders. So, here's hoping that they're all on this side. Let's go for uh, the leaders, the SPs, and that manga. Let's go. Hey, you done already. Happy days. Cody Jones can't complain. I think all the SRs in this set are pretty strong. Perona, pretty strong. I think the weakest one is probably that blocker. Whoa, a buggy SP. That is so nice. Buggy was probably one of the better looking ones in the set. But if we got an SP, does that mean that this box will come with a face? I think it does. All right, which face are we gonna get? Let's head for our old art as well. SP old art face box. Let's go. Oh, no, sorry. Green Bull's probably the worst S um, SR of the set. Oh, so nice. Like, the standard art and the old art for Hiori, they're just both beautiful. It's getting harder and harder to tell which art looks better, the standard SR or the old art. The old art has texture, so it'll always win, but basing it on art itself... Ooh, Secret Zoro. Does that mean we have an old art? Pretty sure the SPs came with a face last time. Leave a comment down below. Did the SPs come with a secret or with a leader in previous boxes? I can't remember now. Oh my god. God, a Momonosuke old art. That is so good. I need, how many did I say last time? Five? All of them? All of them. I need all of them. Pretty sure that's it for this box now. We've seen two Don, two old arts and a secret. Yep, all that was left were SRs. Alright, let's move on to box number 8. That box was pretty good. That SP is pretty good. That old art was pretty good. Box 8, let's see if we can top it. Oh my goodness, Yamato face leader. The art, I think this is my favorite art in this game. Like, that art is just, it's beautiful. Like, I know I say that about a lot of cards, but the, that leader Yamato just, it's on a different level. It's just so pretty. Whoever that artist is, deserves more followers, money, whatever. They did a good job. And that's also my leader. I'm playing that for the rest of the format. Another... Wait. A secret rare and a face card? 
That's weird. Surely that's not how it went before. Getting a secret rare and a face card in the same box. Again, hit me up in the comments down below. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the boxes were meant to go face, alt arts, and then secret, alt arts, and then the SPs are in there somewhere. Old art. So I'm pretty sure this box had Yamato, Secret Zoro, and that old art. Let's move on to the next box. Very happy with this pool. Very, very happy. Box number nine. Let's see what it has in store for us. A manga, maybe? Ooh, Absalom, old art. It looks pretty good. Oh my goodness, second waifu pool, Perona Alt Art. Hora 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 So good. Yamato and Perona. Oh, this case is good. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Pro should probably keep them safe.
But speaking of Perona, we can all agree that we ship Perona with Zoro, right? Not Perona with Mihawk? Perona and Mihawk. Perona and Mihawk and Zoro? Question mark? Yes. Oh! Ichiji. Nice. It's Muffin time! Do, 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 do. No, that's Ninja Turtles. Go to box number ten. I'm still hoping for that manga Zoro. It goes so perfect with the face Perona. Done in the first pack. Three judges in a row, what the heck? Oh my goodness, my second Yori. It's so pretty. So we've got a few more exciting announcements since Worlds has finished that came out. So unsure if it's only going to be in America, um, but apparently uh, Bandai stores will be getting regionals and treasure cups with exclusive pricing. So JoJo's is hoping we can be a part of that and have a regionals and a treasure cup in store. So give us a follow on Facebook and uh, Instagram so you can stay up to date hey, hey 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 that is a rager old art leader very nice very nice um, the news was that these treasure cups and regionals they have the ability to get invites to next year's world championship finals so It'll definitely be something to keep your eye out if you hope to go to the World Champs. Also, reprints for OP5, 6, and 7 have, and I air quote this, been announced. So keep an eye out for those as well. That'll be a huge help for the game. And apparently communication will get a lot better between distributors and Bandai. That's what they are aiming for again. Not sure if this is just America since it got announced over there, 
hopefully it uh, translates to the entire Western world. Where's my other stuff? Is that just Raju? Did I miss one? Oh! Moria! The best waifu! Wow, we've got three of the four waifu leaders in this case. This is uh, pretty good. Let's hope for the fourth waifu, Uta. She's not very competitive, but very pretty. And uh, I kind of want to avoid Moria, because uh, the Moria old art leader gives me nightmares. Oh my god, we got the Uta. We got all four of the waifu leaders in this case. This is, this is a good case. The only thing that can make this case better is a manga. Good case. Actually, an Onami SP would be pretty good. I'm pretty sure that's in this one. Or is that an 07? Have I been looking at 07 stuff too much? Right, right. This one is Big Mum, Buggy. Those ones. Rebecca. Oh, a Rebecca SP would be nice. Ooh, second Luffy alt art. Very nice. Uta and Luffy in the same box. How thematic. That is so weird, getting secret rares in the same boxes as face cards. They've completely changed up the ratio in this set. Thought it was a one-off, but now that's, that's two. That's interesting. But I've got way too many Sanjis now, can you please give me some more Zoros? and hit a Hody Jones alt art yet. Box number 12. This is the last box.
Last chance for a manga. Oh, this should have an SP in it actually, because we only got one SP so far. Oh, there it is. Miss All Sunday SP. So nice. So much better than the old art. Gonna need to get four. Oh my goodness. Secret Rare Zoro. It's not the manga though, but this has been a very good case with all of the waifus. I think we got all of the waifus except for Rebecca. That's crazy. Oh, I don't think we got an Onami old art. So, missing a few waifus, but we got most of them. Oh my goodness, we got the treasure rare? That is insane. All right, well then, comment down below. What do you think of the treasure rare? I, I, I can't believe we hit it. I've been reading and everyone's saying that the treasure rare is just as rare as a manga. So that is crazy. Comment down below if you like the art though. I think it's a bit iffy. But, I mean, I think the art is fine, but I don't think the art is good for Nami. But, you know, tell me your opinions in the comments. Can't believe we got the treasure rare in the last box. It's being called Pancake Face Nami. Pancake Face Nami? Oh, I'll have to take a closer look at it later. But, yeah, comment down below. Let us know what you think of it. Oh, what a way to end the video crazy um if you like what you see on our channel as always that subscribe button is right there it would mean the world to us if you you know hit subscribe and you can see more card games more japan more nerdy stuff on our channel we love this stuff um i'm gonna do a bit of a recap just so that you can see everything that was in part two but it's been pretty good. So, got the Missile Sunday. We got the four waifu face leaders. The treasure rare. A bunch of really, just really pretty old arts. Like, oh, you can't go wrong with this set. Everyone was like, OP5, OP5 is amazing. And yeah, yeah, it really is. But OP6 is just like, so good. There's just so much good stuff in this set meta wise collection wise those treasure rares look great oh sorry the the 
SPs in the treasure format look great. It has a treasure rare in it. Like, it's it's just a good set. I think this set is 100% worth buying if you were able to find boxes or cases. You know, definitely worth buying the sealed product of this set. Ah, oh, there she is. The best looking card in the game. Well, hit subscribe, like the video, 